Hi and welcome to the Geek Legion of Doom. This is a B-movie review and today I'll be having a look at the film Rage War, The Challenges of Excalibrate, also known as The Dungeon Master in the US. So Rage War is a 1984 movie, uh, a very, very fast paced and action packed. Um, it's, it's really a, 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 it's a cross genre film, really. It's horror, action, sci-fi. Um, now, this is a this is going to be a, the definition of a guilty pleasure because this story, if, if you have a look at it from a, a very critical point of view, this story doesn't really make any sense at all. Basically, there's a, a wizard called um, Mestima who basically just picks, basically wants to have like an opponent to face, and he's in modern times, albeit 1984, and he picks basically a sort of computer expert called Paul to go through a series of challenges, and to get him to do that, he sort of kidnaps his girlfriend. So Paul basically um, makes his sort of computer sort of go into his glasses, and uh, has like a sort of wristband that does all this sort of, you know, sort of high tech stuff. And basically just goes through a series of, of challenges. So there really isn't, it, it, I mean, if you look at the plot critically, it's, 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 you know, it's pretty stupid. And it really is just an excuse to have lots of different styles of, 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 of you know, like mini films or little special effects in each, in each one. But if, like me, you know, this just film is just a good time to watch. And uh, you can kind of, don't worry, worry too much about the sort of the, the overall stupidness of it and the fact that, you know, the plot really doesn't make any sense at all. It's just a really fun film to watch. So, um, Paul, each section is directed by a different director. And, uh, you know, he'll, he'll, he'll face things like, in one section there'll be um, sort of post-apocalyptic mutant sort of Mad Max type sort of baddies. You've got, like, one section where there's going to be sort of zombies. Uh, there's like a giant sort of stone sort of colossus type um, monster, all sorts of stuff, serial colour. He even faces against the heavy metal band Wasp. Um, now because these, because this is obviously one, it's almost like an anthology really, but it isn't, but it all follows the sort of same, the same sort of narrative. And he basically gets sort of zapped between one sort of challenge to the next until ultimately he sort of faces Miss Dima at the end in, in a sort of like a special effects battle extravaganza. And uh, but it's just a really fun and because it's so obviously these sections are very very short because obviously it, 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 we have just the normal running time of a film it kind of moves on at a, a, fa a fair old pace which doesn't mean you have a particularly um, deep plot essentially but because it is there's so much sort of going on it just sort of whisks you around and it you know each sort of like sort of section is going to give you sort of ten minutes or so of, of what's happening in that sort of particular little sort of mini story arc if you see what I mean so obviously they're they're sort of fairly short and concise and it is literally just you know go and kill that bad bad guy or, or, or what have you I mean some are better than others to be honest with you um but it's 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 just a really fun film to watch and to see all of these like you know at the time they were kind of you know obviously quite impressive special effects I mean it's not it was never a high budget film um but it's you know, to me, it's just it's really, really just a fun movie. I quite like that. I mean, the guy, uh, the actor who plays Paul um, is meant to be just kind of your sort of your every main geek. But he's obviously clearly just like, uh, you know, a, a guy who's decided to wear glasses and have himself a side part to look a bit, you know, a bit more geeky than he really is and that sort of thing. Um, so chances are you've obviously if you're watching this movie, you've obviously seen this uh, this movie, and, uh, you know, and I'm. I, I think maybe a lot of you guys maybe like me kind of have have sort of fond memories of this film. I absolutely love it. I mean, it's a it's a, it's a bit of a bugger to track down these days. I've never seen it on DVD. I've only ever you know got it on VHS, and that's it basically. I'd definitely love to have this on DVD if I ever do come across it. As I say, it's called Rage War in the UK, and I think probably Europe, and then Dungeon Master in the US. But it's just a really fun film for me. This is actually a hidden gem, so I'm going to give this one a uh, a seven point five out of ten, appealing because it's such a, such an entertaining film, regardless of the fact that yes, this, the effects these days look a little bit crappy, and obviously this story is absolutely ridiculous. But there you go. I just don't care. This is kind of more like a cartoon, really. If you can imagine a, 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 a sort of cartoon in sort of live action form you know with no sort of real real plot involved then this is pretty much it so uh, leave me a comment did you enjoy this film and I look forward to seeing you next time see you later